Blender for Noobs. Hello and welcome to Blender for Noobs. In this video we're going to look at creating a very good paint job, a really good paint job using Blender Cycles. And I have a few examples here for you. This is a uh, 57 Ford Thunderbird that I uh, modeled off of a tutorial that I took. And right now as you can see this is my what I'm calling my regular paint job. This is what I used to use. I used to put um, pretty much a regular diffuse node and a glossy node together, mix them together, and this is pretty much the output. And I've seen a lot of, you know, that's what a lot of people have been doing. So this is the regular, and scroll down, this is what I'm calling the deluxe paint job. So hopefully you can see the difference here. This is um, more like of a metallic, a, um, a better representation of the metallic type of paint job you would have on a car. Of course, this isn't the right color for this type of car, but just to give you an example. So if you look between the two, hopefully you can tell a pretty good difference there. Here's another example that I did. This is a semi that I was working on. And again, pretty much threw my basic uh, paint job on there. And if we look at the difference, wow, to me it's just a, a night and day difference. It looks like a, a completely different model to me. Um, the only thing that is different as far as the modeling part itself is I added some some trim around the grill here, which you don't see there. But, I mean, other than that, it is the same model, except for that just awesome paint job. And also, as you might be able to tell here, this is my original chrome that I came up with. It looks more like stainless steel, and this is the chrome that I used on this which looks a lot more like the actual you know an actual chrome job so you know if you were buying a car or truck and you wanted a paint job would you choose regular or deluxe deluxe I think you would want so how do you accomplish this in blender well let's take a look this is the uh, 57 Ford Thunderbird here and if we uh, I'm gonna click on the the body material here and you can see or hopefully see that it has these nice um, metallic specks in it which you might see on a metallic type of paint job and here are the nodes that you're going to need this is actually just a group that's set up and we go into the group go full screen here this is the setup for that paint job so really all you need to change for the different colors is look at these three areas. These are the chain, These are the ones you want to change. One's the main color, one's the deeper color, one's that kind of uh, shows the the uh, specularity that's coming out of the color. And then I believe these cells here are the, um, the actual paint specs themselves. So if you copy this setup, this is what you can come up with as far as the paint job. Now, I wish I could take credit for this, but I can't. This was, uh, I got from the, at that actual tutorial of that car, and it's done by BlenderWiz. I encourage you to check out the tutorial. It's a really nice tutorial. And when he got into this paint, um, doing the paint part, it was just an eye-opener for me. It was like night and day, and it's just a uh, really, really good setup. But I will caution you that that is only half the story. If I take this uh, car right now with that setup and do a render, it's not going to look good at all. The other half of the story is you have to set up the uh, lighting for it. Now in the olden days of course what I would do I have a sun lamp here and that would be my setup. I'd make it you know maybe something like 2.5 or something and that would be it. That's uh, kind of where I left it but I'll show you what um, BlenderWiz did as far as the setup and it works just great. So what we're going to do I'm just going to add a plane, scale it up here quite a bit, and you just want to bring it to like the floor here, just below your model. And I'm going to tab in edit mode, and I'll grab these two vertices, go into side view, and I'm just going to extrude once twice and three times 
and this gives you the backdrop and then tab back in object mode go over to your modifiers add a modifier add subdivision surface T into the tools menu change it to smooth shading and probably want to go back into edit mode do a control R loop cut just to get this kind of squared off a little bit at the ends okay so this is the backdrop and if you look at how your camera set up if it's not covering that then I'm gonna to go to 7 top view and just rotate it so that it fits the camera view and then you can um, just you know resize it however you need so that it uh, it covers your camera view and as far as the backdrop material what you can do there go to your materials do a new material and I'm just gonna call this backdrop and we're gonna change this to velvet just leave it at that um, actually you can change it to you know change the color background if you want to I usually go on this with something kind of dark something like that and then do a shift A create another plane bring it up just above the car here we'll go into 7 top view scale it up scale it along the Y something like that so just you know it's right over the car uh, add a new material for that you can call it um, top lamp or something like that and you want to go down here and change it to emission and this one just make it 2.5 okay and then shift A create another plane bring it out next to the vehicle here like this scale along the Y Okay, I'm going to go into front view and just rotate it kind of like that. Put it kind of like right there and just make a new material for that. We're going to call this side lamp. And we're going to change this to an emission shader. And give this a value of 1.5. And there you have your setup. Once you have your paint on there, do the sliding setup. I'm not using this sun lamp right here. I got it set to zero, so I can just delete that. But this is the basic setup to come up with that paint. So uh, just a, another note on the chrome. I, I also got the chrome from BlenderWiz. He, he did uh, such a better job than what my chrome was looking like. So if you like that chrome, you could uh, check out how he did his chrome as well. But I encourage you to go over there. I'll give you the link in the description for that tutorial and check it out. Uh, very nice tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you can get some use out of it and keep blending away. Thanks and subscribe and talk to you soon.